Okay. All right, this is going to be a demonstration to start your uh, finalized uh, sketch. So, uh, you know, you should have a couple of things ready to do your uh, finalized sketch for your sustained investigation. So, obviously, one of the first things you want to have done would be your, uh, you know, your prelim sketch that you planned out from before. So, this is the one I did for mine, as well as... Um, also setting up your, um, uh, you know, SI splash page. So I'm actually going to change one of these images on here. Um, yeah, add an image on here. And then also, um, you know, you should have taken some of your photos, um, of your own reference photos for your, uh, uh, you know, on the prelim sketch. Okay, so I did want to add one of these images to, like, the, um, you know, images that I've used for, like, the splash page. So... Uh, I'm probably going to replace this one here, or actually, let me see. Uh, I probably don't need the hands picture no more, so. Uh, but yeah, I definitely did want to add, like, one other image on here. So, so I wanted to use, like, this one of Gavin here, because I really like his facial expression on this one here. Like, he's got, like, a really great expression on this particular one here. So let me just add this uh, over here. I'm probably gonna crop it out more. So this one over here, I'm gonna just erase the. Uh, I don't need the picture of him. Okay, <laughs> so hopefully you guys got some really good photos though for your, um, you know, for like the photos you took. And if not, you know, you can always take more pictures if needed. Okay, so I'm just going to save this as a uh, JPEG file. So the wrench share JPEG. And that way I can just kind of refer back to it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to create a whole new document here. So actually, let me make a JPEG of this too. Kind of refer back to this later. So I'll just do a screenshot of this one here. Let's crap this in. See, I always want to refer back to this stuff later. Okay. So you should have those things to kind of refer back to, but, you know, obviously I'm going to start on a um, whole new drawing here. Okay. All right, so... All right, now, at this point now, you're doing your more finalized sketch. Now, um, you know, you might want to change how the composition might look. And this is okay if you want to change it for, like, the finalized sketch, because, you know, now I have, like, a really good reference photo to look at, as well as um, I also gathered, you know, like, a bunch of different images I could use for inspiration and ideas. So I kind of want to do this as a more vertical piece at this point now. And I was going to just have it be more symmetrical. So I think that one will capture the essence of the drawing a little bit better doing it that way. So, okay, so why don't we just change it into like a vertical piece right here. Okay. So that way while I'm working, I can also add the references that I'm using. So, uh, so there's a really nifty tool under the, um, the wrench canvas. Uh, references and you, you may have seen this before in you know some of the other videos so i can just click on image to upload an image on that and i'm gonna upload this one right here for me to just kind of look at as i'm working so okay so it's nice to have this little splash page because it gives me inspiration ideas on like how i want the um, drawing to look and you know certain details if i want to zoom in closer for like that drawing so you know same thing like you did before though uh, I'm just going to kind of just sketch out how I wanted it to look. So I was going to do this line up here. Should let me make a new, okay, so a new layer here. Okay, so, so just slightly sketch it out. So in essence, though, I do want you to kind of redraw, like, the sketch. And, you know, if you need to make any changes, you can. Uh, I'm not trying to base it off more on, like, uh, this drawing or this um, photo here 
So in a lot of cases, though, if you have like a really good reference photo, you know, you can just kind of use it as like the map or the guide, like I mentioned before, for like that entire drawing. Uh, the only thing I would need to add is like papers on the bottom here, some money where the light's coming from, and then the background could be like people behind them. So, you know, I could still base it off of like the, you know, previous idea that I sketched up before. It's just, you know, we're just making more of a vertical composition. So, okay, so, you know, if you wanted to, you can make some, you know, big changes like that. That's fine for like the final sketch room. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of lay out, um, you know, where Gavin's face is. So, uh, you know, when you draw things out, though, it's usually better to just kind of sketch out the general shape. So, you know, I'm just doing like an oval shape for his head here. Um, you know, have his shoulders kind of going out like this. So he's a little bit hunched over because of where the money is. And I'm just going to make it look a little bit more rounder right here. <laughs> so it almost looks kind of like this one right here. So I can actually, like, use the reference for, like, the business clothes here. But, you know, I'm going to just change his clothes because, you, know, you know, I'm not going to have him in the hoodie. So, you know, I really love that pose that, or the face that Gavin has in this picture here. So, you know, all I'm doing is just thinking about shapes right now. So I'm not worried about anything right now. So these are just the hands right here, or the um, his arms, the hands. So just kind of things, you know, in terms of like drawing, you know, you just want to just kind of break things down into shapes. And, and you know, you want to just make sure you capture the general composition or idea of like how things look so i'm not even like worried about the individual fingers but this is like generally where i want my hands to be and you know because you have like that nice reference though it's like really easy to you know get that drawing that you need so a little bit of proportion in the face the eyes are kind of like in the middle the nose is like halfway and then the mouth is kind of like the halfway point of there too so I'm just laying where things, you know, will be. And I'm just drawing what I'm seeing right now. So, and that's really the big trick to drawing things is, you know, just having good references to help you with the drawing. So, okay, I'm going to go over to this clothes right here. So now, like, I want to, like, kind of put him more in, like, a business suit. So, you know, business suits usually have, like, a collar... So instead of having him in a hoodie, I'm having like in a business suit. And this is actually a perfect pose for like what I have here. And in a lot of cases though, you know, you might not have it like perfect, like the, the way I just have it, but it just seemed to work out, you know, with the, the pictures that I found. <laughs> okay. So... So I got my hands here. I'm gonna do the hands in a little bit more detail. So now I can start thinking about the fingers. So I'm just kind of getting an idea of like where those fingers would be. But you know, we're just kind of just sketching it out right now. So, you know, okay, so I'm just kind of just generalizing just some lines here for the shape of the hand, but I'm too worried about the look of it right now. Just trying to get like the angles of the fingers, perspectives. general looks of it so okay 
So I'm really just roughing things out right now. Okay, I'm gonna look at this money here. So this is like where I do like little stacks of money. <laughs> I'm just thinking more like cylinder shapes. I'm not even worried about the individual <clears throat> pennies itself right now. I'm not just sketching it out. Okay, and then um, you know one thing I like about the layers though in um, in Procreate, this is like with any like drawing tool in the program, you can always lighten the layer out, and then if you want to add like another layer on top, you can just go into like more detail with the drawing. So now I can zoom in a little bit closer on his face, and since I have like where things are laid out, you know this is like where I can start to actually draw how his face looks. So I know this is like where the nose is. So, you know, I can actually start making it look more like the actual photograph that I'm using. So it's always a good idea to just kind of like lay out the, you know, general shapes of where things would be. And then you can start to draw out the, um, the face. So I'm not even worried about like the look of it. I'm just trying to capture, you know, what the, the picture is showing at this point now. And you know, it's look, it doesn't look, exact, look exactly like the drawing. We can always work on the details more. You know, you're just really just drawing what you're seeing at this point. Okay, but you kind of get the idea. Um, you know, I'm gonna work on this a little bit more, and you know, she, uh, you know, for example, of, like how it looks like it's finished. Okay, but be honest with you though, your first just an investigation piece. You know, don't worry if it's like doesn't end up like the way you expected it to end up. Okay. You know, we're still learning you know, a lot of things this year. So, you know, I will always say like, you know, your first sustained investigation is probably the hardest one because it's like the first one that you're doing. But you guys will definitely get better. You know, the more you draw, the more you work on it. <laughs> you know, and don't worry, you know, you're not doing well with the first one. You know, just try your best. And, um, you know, we always can do like, what we call like revision pieces. So, you know, you can always kind of go back on that first piece if you have time and, uh, you know, kind of use it as like a separate piece or you show like a, a, a big or major improvement from like that first piece. Okay. Uh, you know, this is kind of like how you want to go about getting started. So I'll show you guys more finished, you know, finished final sketch later.